Hello friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel Nest in Padasali. So this video will be really helpful for those students who are going to write this FSSA exam this year. So previously if you look through this particular notification, so if you click on what's new here, you can able to get all kind of news and this website which I am showing is fssa.gov.in. So this is a website. So here you can able to see on 7th of February, they released a notice. Okay, they had officially released by the exam conducting authority, which is nothing but this FSSI, which is under the control of Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. So, if you look on this particular thing, what is has been given? So, here they had given so notice for a uh, schedule for CBT stage one and written examination. So, for three exams, CBT and CBT stage one written examination for various portion. So previously, if you see over here on 10th January, that is this year, they have released a notification related to the deferment of CBT based test and also written examination. So if you don't know, you can check in this particular notification. They had says that keeping in the view of sudden increase of COVID-19 cases, it has been decided to defer the conduct of examination for all posts. And they also mentioned revised schedule for the conduct of examination would be announced in the due course. And yesterday, that is 7th of February, they had released this particular notification. So this notification has been dated on 7th of February 2022. The subject is that schedule of examination for the direct recruitment in, uh, in FSSF. So with reference to the recruitment notice issued with advertisement on dated on September month, that is 30 of September last year, and also with respect to notice dated on postponement of examination, they have released the examination schedule. What is the main reason of releasing this examination schedule means, if you look on this particular website, which is mohfw.gov.in, in this website, if you click on this particular COVID-19 state-wise status, in January month, everything has shown in red color column. And now if you see, the COVID cases in India is started to decrease because many states have announced a lockdown at that time point and this makes the COVID cases in India to get decreased. So you can check in this website. As a result, they have released this examination schedule. So your entire examination schedule will be available in this website. So you can visit this fssa.gov.in. So here, if you visit, you can get uh, jobs at FSSA under this year wise, they can release notification or else you can click what's a new column, which is available in the dashboard itself. Okay. Uh, the next thing is that for post name wise, the exam date and shift wise. So exam is planned to be conducted on 28th of March this year. Okay. So assistant manager, assistant manager, assistant manager. So for three assistant manager position. The exam is going to be conducted on 28th of March this year and you are going to write your examination in shift number 2. Okay, and also they had given and reporting time also and gate close time also. Please make sure to report uh, at the time mentioned there. And the exam time is from 2 p.m. to 5, 5 p.m. for three portion. And with respect to this IT assistant, Hindi translator and personal assistant, you will be writing your exam on 29th of March and you will be writing your examination in two shift. With respect to IT assistant and Hindi translator, you will be writing the exam in morning shift like 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. And for personal assistant, you will be writing in shift number 2, that is afternoon session. Your exam time is 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. And with respect to junior assistant grade number 1 and food analyst and central food officer, central food safety officer, if you are applied under these three position means, then you will be writing your examination on 30th of March. Okay. With respect to uh, food assistant grade 1 and food analyst, you will be writing your examination in morning, that is shift number 1, and your examination time is 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. And with respect to central food safety officer, that is CFSO, you will also write the examination on 13th of March, sorry, 30 of March and you will be writing your examination in shift number 2, that is afternoon shift. So, your examination timing for the central food safety officer is 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. And with respect to this technical officer and assistant post, if you had applied under these two positions, then you will be writing your examination on March 31st, 2022. So, technical officer, you will be writing your exam on shift number 1, that is now morning session, 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. 
and with respect to assistant, you will be writing your examination on 12.30. That is, uh, your reporting time is 12.30 and gates will be closed by 1.30 itself. So, please make sure you are coming in between this 12.30 to 1.30 and you will be writing your examination in shift number 2. That is afternoon session. So, the time for morning session is 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. and for afternoon session it is 12 p.m. to 5 p.m. And they also mention about the admit card downloading process. So, link for downloading the admit card will be available on this particular FSSI only. Separately, they will release the admit card. So, please make an eye on this website or else subscribe to my YouTube channel so that I can update you. For if, if you have any queries related to this particular examination, then you can contact the help desk number and they are also given a time point from morning 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. You can call them or else you can mail to this particular thing that is FSSI help desk 2021 at gmail.com. And the next point they add added is that the above schedule is subject to government guidelines issued from time to time regarding the handling of COVID-19 pandemic. Yes. They again says that based on COVID-19 pandemic, they can re revise this particular gov government guidelines. This is not a fixed thing. Anyway, the exam date might be fixed only. There is no change in examination further. They might provide you some other things or guidelines related to COVID safety pandemic. And the decision of SSA examination in this regard shall be final and binding. Okay, and next thing is that you should regularly visit the official website that is www.fssi.gov.in for further update. The last point is that this issues with the approval of the competent authority. So the competent authority is this FSSA and all this is depend upon the approval from the SSSA. Sorry, FSSA. So thank you friends. Thanks for watching this video.